Right, welcome back with our special today we're back on old school rsps the biggest old school risk of rsps all there for 2024 today ladies and gentlemen we are going to continue a lovely grind scene i'm very excited fast things fast it was going to be 50 double one to one lucky winner all you have to do for that one is like the video comment your names down below and be subscribed to my channel if you guys have to old school make sure to do so the links are down below and i would say let's get right into the grinds in the last episode, we've grinded 2,000 total level, which is absolutely nice. We're getting close and close towards the max cape right here. We've also purchased ourselves the lovely torso from the PVM shop. We're going to go ahead and check that out once again because it's actually very OP. But before we do that, we're going to be grabbing a free reward from the mystery act right here. And we've got 83 Easter eggs. Okay, that's very interesting. Makes me claiming every single day a free reward from the Easter sack right here. And so now we're going to go ahead and check out the PVM store right here because we had a bunch of points. And, uh, yeah, what we're going to go out and purchase is actually the fighter hat, which is 2,500 in total. That is definitely a very decent upgrade. And after that, what I'm probably going to start buying, I don't know, maybe a couple of those keys to go and do next. Maybe those weapons right here. I'm not too sure yet, but yeah, with those upgrades, we should be able to do much better PVM. And, and of course, as per usual, we got to be voting right off the bat. 700k in cash as well as two vote rewards. Absolute amazing vote books. You can either go ahead and sell for good money or you can go ahead and use them on your account to get some lovely. So today I want to dive a bit more into the achievements, right? I haven't done a lot of them. 11 out of 75, definitely one of the requirements I want to go ahead and complete. So let's go ahead and check out what we can complete today. So we have to complete three scaling tiles. First, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to take agility so just I get an idea how hard it is. I do not have the knowledge to assign agility tasks. I will first get knowledge and skill then begin to assign them. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Then maybe let's go ahead and do some mining. Let's see if he has one of those. Yes, you have been assigned to my 241 adamant. Yo, okay, that's crazy. This guy got to chill a bit here, bro. 240 adamant. That's going to take me half a day. Whatever, let's go. The worst part is not about, like, mining it. It's actually the time it takes to respawn right here. Maybe I have to find, like, two locations and teleport around them because, like, that's literally 30 seconds for a respawn time right here. Holy moly. Alright, so I've actually started to cancel that task with the Edamund ones because, like, bro, it takes so long till the respawn. Um, We've actually instead got a new one, 260 Magic Lock. That sounds a bit better, to be honest. Let's go ahead and do that instead. 90 wood cutting coming in. That is absolutely nice, actually. So we're getting some really nice levels of the way as well while uh, grinding. We're 99 in fire making as well, so that means we only need to keep farming. Well, we need to get some fleshing up as well, I guess. But yeah, I think after those 240 logs right here, which, by the way, is actually doing much better than the adamant one, we should be around 92, I guess, something like that. We have 196 to go. Let's keep farming. 95 wood kind of coming in. We're still hunting those lovely, um, yeah, logs right here. This guy just messaged me. He's playing on a 1x account. And he's grinding for 82, bro. There's some people that are mental old school runescape. So if you guys are looking for a proper grind, old school runescape wise, this is the place to be. There we go. We did complete it. And I've got myself 1 million cash. Yo, that's actually freaking good. I've also got myself those seeds right here. And that is actually very great news. 1 mil for 1 toss. That's actually great money. It took me probably like, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. But bro, look at that. Cash take going up. Are we actually going to participate on this tournament right here? No arm, um, that's actually a funny one. And in the meantime, in those five minutes, let's go ahead and grab the next lovely uh, skilling task that you guys can find from the AFK. And I think I'm going to go again with a woodcutting one because why not, to be honest, Mahogany ones? Nah, honestly, TBA, let's try to get a magic logs. 358 U-logs is also fine. Let's go ahead and do that one. We're probably going to get through those three skilling tasks to 99 woodcutting. So that's another 99 out of the way. Bro, right, Loki, we should be getting a freaking skilling pack soon because, uh, come on, man. We've been doing so much skilling. No pack, yeah. Alrighty, geez, we are in the tournament. Ten people in total, not too shabby for a completely off-peak right here. No arm, and that's what we love to see. And hopefully, we're going to be able to get a couple nice kills. Alrighty, here we are. Good luck to Mr. Zoeth right here. And uh, hopefully, we can get some nice daps right here. That'd be very nice, actually. Please don't fuck me up, mate. Let's see. Oh, there we go. KO coming in. Very nice. Took a little risk right here. Could have probably killed me, but yeah, we are into the next round. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we've got completely demolished right here by this guy, Mr. B. Shout out to you, brother. And uh, yeah, well, that was quick and easy. So on those tournaments, Bastardo is literally just spec right of the bat. What he did, double spec me into Elder Ball and freaking 
destroy me. GG's, but right, we've got to tournament points. We're stacking them up because there's some nice rewards in the shop that we're going to be purchasing in the future. Time to chop 350 U trees now. Righty, boys. So we did complete that. It's getting to us 1.2 million. Yo, okay, so. You definitely want to go and get as many skilling tiles as you can while grinding your 99s. Because honestly, it's free monies. It's free monies. I've probably wasted tens of millions already for not taking skilling tiles while grinding some skilling. The only sad part is I did not get a 99. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another skilling task in wood cutting. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 162 magic logs. Let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be 99 wood cutting for sure. Plus that achievement completed as well. 99 wood cutting is coming in right here. Absolute beautiful. I think that's the second skill we're getting into 99. Yes, sir, it is. And that's a total level of, let's have a look right here. 2030. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We'll definitely take it. And we are still hunting those lovely uh, magic trees right here. I'll see you with the completion. 200 left. All right, here we go. We did complete this one. That's an achievement out of the way. 980k in cash coming in as well for this uh, task. And 16 mil in wood cutting. I'm definitely happy that with that. And also happy with the first achievement out of the way. I'm going to take a little break right now. I'm going to go to the AFK place, which I would definitely recommend you guys to go as well. You guys can literally do the worst skills ever, actually, for free. So, the Magic Root Store. Now, you've got Root Crafting. You've got, uh, I think that one is Farming right here. Fishing as well as Agility. And I'm going to go on ahead and do some Agility right here. And as we can see, we get 1,000 XP per jump right here. So, hopefully, when we come back, we're going to have at least like one or two levels. Let's see how that one goes, my G. Alrighty, boys. Uh, we did some bench of Afkin. We've got 88 in agility. So I think that's another two levels, honestly, right here. If I check out the total level, or maybe three. And we've done a bit of Slayer right here, because Slayer is always a great moneymaker as well. We're about to complete the fifth task, and the level is still 88. Um, so yeah, lots of 88s, actually, as you can see right here. That's actually pretty interesting. And regardless, we're going to be opening the caskets after we finish the stars to see how much money we've actually made out of all those stars. Task completed. Five caskets. Let's open them. Oh, nice. What is that? Cancel vouchers. Extension vouchers. If you guys want to extend a task or you want to cancel one. 800k in cash. We've actually done quite decent money so far today. Almost back at 10 m So it's actually the day after right here. We did a bit more off gain. We are almost 90 agility. I'm probably going to go 9 on agility just with the obstacle pipe. That is just crazy OP in my opinion. Total level is 2020 right here. And today we're going to continue grinding a little bit more achievements right here as well as vote. The first thing we got to be checking out, of course, is the achievement die. And the sad part is most of the achievements are literally spending money on things. But we have to do what we have to do. But first thing first, let's get our daily present right here. Boom, Jacka Laka, let's see what we're going to get from it. 118 cannonballs. I guess I'll take it. First things first, we got to be hiring our servant right here. It's going to cost me 1 million. Oh, boys, look at that. That's literally more than 10% of my net worth. Oh, boy, Jacka Laka. But we've completed that achievement. I guess I'm happy. There we go. We've just prayed the Well of Sacrifice right here, which is actually super neat as well. That is East of the Homer to complete that achievement. So that's number 14. And as we can see, that's actually a pretty interesting one right here because you guys will be able to lock a bunch of different custom parks right here. You can purchase some supplies and some special things as well. So that is an absolute amazing content piece right here that you guys definitely want to be checking out. And that is located East of the Home area. Then you can also check out the prices to sync the items, what you guys will get for that points wise. And there is a huge list of different things. And yep, that is just beautiful. There we go. 700k cash coming in. We've got two lovely vote books. as what I'm talking about. Bag full of gems. Purchase right here from the lovely skilling shop. That's another achievement. So that's 15 already. And boom. Chakalak. Okay, not too shabby. And again, that's the town crew right here. We go. It's what we want to do. Vote store, PVM, as well as skilling one. And vote was, we have 100 vote points. I need to start spending it on something, but I still don't know what, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we definitely will find a ride on. Set up a 2 authenticate. I'm probably going to do this at the end because I kind of see VA to always have to log in with the 2FA because I'm using VPN and everything. So that kind of sucks, but yeah, we'll do that later on. So next, we're going to complete the entire tutorial for Discovery, which is a pretty interesting one. And I've actually never done it before. But we have to do it through this guy right here. You must select the basic beings research class before we can 
Continue. Oh my god, that's interesting. And all those uh, interface and everything, that looks super, super neat. So that's definitely what we like to say. So whenever you guys are going to be doing this part right here, where you have to go ahead and slay things, uh, the location, the Discovery Forest is literally located east of the building where this Discovery guy is inside. You need to run three or four times back and forth, kill a bunch of things like rats, imps, beers, and everything to complete that tutorial. Takes a minute, but... It's worth it for the achievement. Holy moly. I've never seen this before, but we have to literally craft a wooden notebook, which is an achievement, by the way. That's actually very nice. And then we have to assemble a tire classification and bring it back to him, which is also done through this workbench, I guess. So for the pages, you will need uh, some wood. And then you also need to create bindings for that one. You guys will need some lovely bars. So we've got those done. Not too shabby. There we go, we've just done it, we've just published a lovely classification right here, that's actually very cool, or a theory, and it was a bit complicated, but the good thing is we have completed that thing through the workbench right here, it's a bit complicated, but it's actually not that complicated if you know what you're doing, since you're going to get some materials, you want to right click, assemble notebooks, craft some pages and create the bindings, and then you click on the workbench and then you guys will publish a theory, and then you guys will be getting speed for that. And that's a freight level right here. That's super nice. And uh, yeah, over here you guys will be finding all the discovery research classes. That's actually insanely nice developed. And that is also another achievement out of the way. And that is also going to be the end of this brand new video right here in all school PS. Super freaking fun. Once again, next episode, we're going to continue farming our achievements. Keep getting our total levels up. What I'm going to do right now is literally go back to the lovely F carrier. So we're going to get the 90 agility out of the way and maybe even higher. And of course, you guys definitely should be checking out Old School RSPS with the links down below. Absolute incredible Old School Runescape server with over 1,000 plus line every single day. Biggest Old School Runescape server of 2024. So definitely make sure you check it out. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. 50 low to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that one is like the video. Comment, check your names down below. And be subscribed to my channel. I'll see you online. Have a good one and peace out.